All right, so we're carrying on from where we left off last stream. I've done a bit more. Um, spent all of yesterday trying to work out how animation tiles work in this program because it's, it's, it's different to RPG Maker. There's a bit of a learning curve here. Um, what, one thing I really like is how it actually shows you though the stuff animating in within the editor RPG Maker doesn't do that. So we um we get to see the water animate and the waterfall and anything else in the future that we add to the map that uh, and it's it's nice to see it without having to do a test play. Um, the cliffs are all done now. Hazar. Um, spent after stream after dinner going round them all making sure they were all good then I added the water animated it and then added the waterfall so um, now it's the next jobs I mean there's a few little bits to do still um, these uh, cliffs here are very square they need to be we need to make it look like exactly how it did before where it looks like the cliff is, is partially under the water so we'll be doing that as well today as well as also putting some sort of white stuff <laughs> like here for the animation for the waterfall as well because it's missing that and I've noticed that with the pebble things there's a few little parts where it's sticking out a bit I think it just needs tidying up in a few areas too um, and yeah the paths need to be put down the paths are already there for that one the grass and then after the paths and grass are put down I'd say the paths and the grass are the the next jobs after all the tidying up stuff then it's like we can add the trees and all the extra things in the buildings and things like the flowers and all these little bits and bobs and extras and the vines that'll be the last thing we add to the map so so yay also the waterfall is a little bit different now to compared to how it originally looked it's um i've moved it a little bit more forward and i think it looks more better that way because it actually looks part of the cliff now and you can actually see the cliff behind which I think is pretty neat. It's not just water. Um, and it's a bit more blue, a little bit more brighter and pretty. This looks so pretty right now, I love it. High five, I know it's getting it's getting pretty, isn't it? I thought it was a good opportunity because we happen to be converting the parallax maps that because that was the method we did it before, but I'm not I've, I've decided to switch because I think tiles are just gonna be better in the long run and it'll allow, allow us to have a more like larger map as well because on the parallax maps you just can't do that can you um so we we're gonna get it looking as close as possible but with added improvement so anything we're like mm, that could be a little bit better we can we can just improve it like we've done with the cliffs um we've made the cliffs look a little bit better they look a little bit more seamless on the new version um and the waterfall's a bit more blue and stuff so we'll we'll and, and i'm really excited to see us add the trees and all the other stuff in because it's really gonna look super beautiful when it's all in that's my theory and hi old tim how are you doing welcome to the stream thanks for stopping by and master emerald hello editing tile sets i've tried that once not an easy feat oh yes it's definitely a time consuming job but one that I find quite therapeutic to do, it reminds me of like doing a jigsaw puzzle, like a big giant jigsaw puzzle. Because that's kind of what it is. We're, we're, we're cut, putting all the pieces back in place. Um, and it, it's, it's fun to actually see it build up again, but knowing that we're not going to have any memory issues or lag or, and the fact that we'll be able to make our maps a bit larger and get rid of that black fade transition because it, um, it it's going to just be much nicer walking through and the reason why the waterfall was so far back before we had i had a reason for that it was because we um in lake form i wanted you guys to still be able to see the waterfall on lake falls map because it was like within this square here 
Um, so if we had it like that, you wouldn't have even seen the waterfall. But now, because we're joining all the maps together, and when you walk across the bridge, there won't be a, a fade in fade to black. You'll you'll literally just be able to walk over the bridge, and it'll be. We, we can have it where it should be now <laughs> and adding a light fog effect plugin will definitely make it yeah we, we can actually have the light a light beam plugin because it's kind of a very like more springy summery themed place but I've, I have like it's crossed my mind about weather and night and day but it's a little bit jumping ahead of ourselves to think of adding those sort of complexities right now but it's something like that's crossed my mind but could potentially be added in the future once we've we've uh, caught up with all the other stuff we've got to do and um will you add an effect at the bottom of the waterfall to make it look like water is hitting that indeed because we're gonna we're trying to get it exactly like well as close as possible to the original map and as you can see, we have the white stuff there on that and at the top there. Um, we're just in the middle of doing it. We can't, unfortunately, as much as I wish I could be a wizard, we can't just get everything out in one go. I managed to just add the waterfall um, this morning before stream. Um, so we're only kind of partially through it right now. And there's still more to do. There's a little waterfall to add down here. And we've also got to do the paths here as well, because it's very, very <laughs> well, as you can say. Um, and we do have like, because we have a lot of green around here, because um, um, what we've done so far is only this area. It, it, it's about, it was originally seven squares of 60 by 40 tiles in RPG Maker, but I've just put them all together. Um, I mean I've put that that's that's kind of this exactly the size of what the squares were so we've got an opportunity to add more maps of like bordering um, what we've done so far in the future for neck for extra content um, and because we don't want invisible walls do we um, there's clearly a section here that looks like you can walk off so um so that is something you know i'm very very fond of like making the map feel like a real world and anywhere that you can see the way you can walk there should be a it should lead you there obviously you can't if there's cliffs or water and that's kind of the trick or make sure we have cliffs or water as the map edges and stuff um, and yeah, adding map design is challenging. Don't want to overclutter. Don't want to underclutter. Yeah, and uh, you like the map itself is pretty straightforward and linear. Like there's one path really as you walk through. Um, apart from where it splits into two here, a fork in the road. Um, but yeah, there is potential to definitely walk up here too. And I I kind of like those secret areas in maps as well. Um, but yeah, so I, I think that we got the perfect amount of busy because forests are like very chaotic in general, aren't they? Because they're not man-made and they're part of nature, so they're just left to get unruly. So that was definitely a goal to make it very full, but without looking a mess, basically. So I, hope, I think we've got the balance okay. Um, right so we got a few things to do we got a few tasks so it's just about prioritizing what ones we're going to do first we can do the um white bits for the waterfall first um and we can then add the 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 cliff being partially underwater afterwards so i've already um started setting up the tiles for that we get on Photoshop. So I've already like started setting up the tiles for that with the cliff that we're using. I've put that there just as a template so we can get the colour right. Um, and um, there's a few little glitches when I was when I was using the selective colour tool to change it because um, this this is a layer on top yeah it got a bit purple when i was using selective color but eventually i got the right color 
that's basically as close as we're gonna get I think but there's a few little glitches where it's gone a bit blue in places so that's gonna have to be fixed as well but we're nearly there we, we nearly got there and these are also animated so anim the way animated tiles are set up is a little bit of a process but once you get into the swing of things it's pretty cool and this here is the waterfall part which is also animated in three frames um, and yeah one of my favorite things about tiled is how you can actually see the animations um, while you're you're working on your map just makes it feel more brings it more to life um, okie dokie so I'm gonna have a look right so where were those water thingy magics I don't know the proper name for them you know the white things below waterfalls <laughs> I'm just calling them water thingy magics um, I think they were saved in I don't think they were saved in tile sets I think they were saved somewhere else so I'm gonna have a look where they're kept because I remember setting them up as an event originally to make them animate but we we don't have to do that now we can set up the animations in tiled we can say up this way just like we have done with the waterfall so it'll save us using up extra events then for the waterfalls which is nice because we want every event we can get um now we're switching to one big map and also we need to kind of at least be a little bit careful by you know we got with our event management and not go too crazy and make sure they're well designed so that we don't have any like weird memory or lag stuff going on and i did do a test i played i uh, had task manager on and uh, um, did a playthrough on this map and on the old parallax map version and it's like it was like double it cost it was like double the memory on the parallax map one so but we haven't like hardly added any of the tiles yet so we'll see how it goes by the end and when we've got the events all added too but uh i think it's going to be better still because even it just tiles just don't take up anywhere close to as much memory Okie doke, so I think this is the waterfall, so so yeah, last stream it was the cliffs that we were doing, we spent all the stream doing cliffs, um, and uh, this stream it's water, um, but we'll see, because we've got the waterfall bit to do and we've got the things under the cliffs to show the cliffs going in the water so those are the two key things to do today but if we get time we'll put more grass and path down as well because i've been neglecting the character profiles on our little bible guys because yesterday i wanted to really just focus fully on this because there was a there was a definite complexity about learning how to animate in tiled it wasn't completely straightforward so i had to get my head around that um, but I will do a few more profiles over the weekend as well as um, as well as doing more of the mapping. I'd by next week, by Monday's stream, I'd really like to be at the point where we're adding the real extra details to the map, like the flowers and the vines and stuff and get the get the main things all in. Um, Okay, so, and there is a few little tiny gla graphical glitches I've noticed on, on our map so far, and I'm trying to think how to overcome those, like Kia, for example, I'll zoom right in on it, there's a few areas on our map like that, there's another one here, and an easy solution is just stick a tree in front of it, sometimes that can, <laughs> that can solve the problem, and I did it before. Um, but on this one we can't really because it'll block the beautiful waterfall view and I want to keep it the same as our original if we can because um, it was easy sorting that stuff like that out in, when we did the parallax mapping because we could just literally copy and paste that and you know manipulate the image that's that's sort of what we did I just joined them together manually in Photoshop um, 
And yeah, we could use the not curvy cliff, but that doesn't have shade on it. It doesn't have shadow on it, I don't think. Let me find it. Yeah, it doesn't have the shadow on it, so as you can see, it looks like weird because of that. So we'd have to add an extra tile that had shadow. But we still have the problem, it's still not completely joined. So we'll have to make some extra tiles that solve that if we can't cover them up with trees. But um, I want to try and be as like what's the word? Like use as less as we can as possible so yeah we'll say but that'll be a job after we'll do the more the more major stuff first like the waterfall that we was in the middle of doing okay so we're gonna i'm gonna just paint this background gray because it's very hard to say what's going on when it's transparent okay so this was the waterfall thing we used um Cool, right, so it's just three frames then by the look of it and it looks like, yeah, it looks like, oh, it looks like it takes up two tiles each then, I didn't realise that, I think I only used those for our map before, let's have a look, I want to look at the parallax map now because I'm curious, oh no we did, yeah I can see the bottom bits, Hmm, okay. So I think I've got my head around the animation stuff now, to be honest. So I don't think there's going to be many struggles getting this set up. We'll soon find out. Um... So, thinking of where to position it, let's, because we could, I could always do something like this where we can fit it all on one tile, but it's whether it would look right when we add that tile to the map, because it might be not, it might be too high up, but we'll soon, we'll soon find out. Okay, so I'm just gonna I've gotta make sure that this is all aligned properly as well. So I think the way it works is having is doing it vertically. I did try it horizontally with the waterfalls, but it went it, it was weird, something like messed up with it, so let's see how this goes. Um Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to just put that back because I think I've got them in the right positions. So that, yeah, 12 pixels. There we go so that should work so all we have to do is get rid of that save it and it automatically like oh oops i've saved it in the wrong folder okay so once 
you ever save the tile set, it'll, it'll automatically update and tiled, which is a real relief that it does. Um, so we don't have to import anything again. Um, so there it is. And I, I was correct. It's a little bit, it's going to be a little bit high up. So we might have to edit that again. Um, but. Ooh. Yeah, I put that in the wrong layer then. There we go. So it's got to go on the waterfall layer. Okay, um, yeah, we... Okay, so I have an idea of how we could do this. Then let's go back to Photoshop. I don't know for sure if this is going to work though. Because we can always make a new layer so this can go over it. Because if we have it like this, it's going to be a weird gap. And the other way to do it would be... Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's probably better to have another layer, and we we do have unlimited layers in this program, so it's not like we have to be super be careful. And I, I don't know if that'll affect. I don't know if that'll be a having lots of layers will be a bad thing. I don't know. <laughs> only only experience will make us learn that stuff. So waterfall. Um, what what would we call this? Waterfall extra. But that way we can layer that on top without it deleting that one because it'll look a bit weird like that. We've got to move it down, of course, because it's too high up. And that might still that might still be too high up, but we'll say oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It's an extra document appeared. Okay, here we go. Um that. Okay, now let's say this again. Yeah, it's still too... Oh yeah, just experimenting with stuff like this. Also, thank you for that follow, Fives. Just noticed that. Right, when this animates, obviously it's getting a lot better. But we've got I want to get the positioning sorted first and I'm trying to like I mean it'd be easy if we just like put these onto two tiles I'll save the hassle of that but I'm trying to like save space I guess but we might not we might not have a choice hang on we could let's see if this though No, that'll be too low. <laughs> um, or, no, no. Put it high up again, but on that tile below. Hope that'll work. I know, it'll probably fail. Yeah, I think it's because we got a little bit of a gap in that 
that's the problem. So yeah, it looks like the, our only solution is to split it onto two tiles. Because we're gonna we're gonna have this this weird weird thingy. Um because that's how it was originally. So how are we gonna do that though? Okay, so I'm going to move these. These are only here for, you know, these aren't going to actually be on this tile. These are just here for... What am I doing? Go away. Stop rotating. Ah just get out of the way for a bit so I want to put the waterfall down here maybe it's, it's a tricky one because you've got to be smart about pos tile positioning because it might come back to bite you later if you want to change the position of everything and then and then all your whole map changes so you know you got to be careful It wouldn't matter so much with just a couple of tiles, but with the cliffs, if they all got moved, everything would get wrecked. Hi Van, how are you doing? I'm like Mark. Hey, hi guys. So what have I missed? I was in a meeting. Oh, those meetings. Welcome, folks. So what are we doing? Well, if you was here last stream, you will remember we were just basically starting our new, brand new spanking way of doing our maps we've redone the parallax mapping and we were doing the cliffs we're converting those parallax maps into tiles and we had we were doing the cliffs, but they looked a bit a bit crappy didn't i remember but they're done now and we're actually we've actually moved on to water now and i've managed to crack the animation in this program i've had to get my head around it a little bit because it's, it's a little bit technical you actually get to see the animations in the editor which is pretty nice um, so we're working on the waterfall at the moment it's we've we've improved it compared to how it looked before um, we can actually see the cliffs in the background now and the positioning is better it actually looks where it should be and the colour is a little bit brighter as well um, and hi leg mark from the shadows of time a long distant figure a legend a whispered misters as long thought as folklore the people gasp as the clouds open and he grazes his twitch with his presence one more is it could it be a leg mark who knows it's my twins eh? there you are walking across the screen i see you look we're right on top of each other <laughs> How are you doing that leg mark? How have you been? Thanks for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. And have you hang out with us, gracing us with your poetry. It's something that I would never, never not want. <laughs> okay, so back to doing our white bit, waterfall white bit. I can't think of a, think of a better name for it than white stuff. Okay, well, it's kind of blue actually. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just copy this again because we're kind of I'm gonna just organize it a little bit different so it can work better. Um, maybe that'll work. So yeah, we had to split this to two tiles because I tried to do it as on all on one tile originally, but it was giving us a few issues. So it's gonna have to be like that. Because of the positioning basically. I think that that's I don't know whether I want it to be there, but we've not got any space up there for it. Well we sort of have. I mean, we could always, yeah, but then we'd have to do it horizontally, wouldn't we? Um, 
yeah all this all this tile set is might be completely reorganized when we start working on these parts though where the cliff's in the water so i'm not going to get attached to where everything's positioned right now because it might get a, a reorganization anyway and i'm going to delete any of the tiles that we aren't using i think that'd be smart um because uh i know yeah there's a lot of used tiles on some of these sheets that we've got that aren't even things that we use in the everbloom forest can't say for long and vulture but thought i'd come say hello i've had a freelance job that took my time away but you're looking well huh? how is poppy poppy paper cut these days she's getting on with things and she's gonna get her profile on the law bible soon as, as well as all the others character i'm very excited to have in the game and also that sucks sucks your time away i hope it's been a good job though. i hope you've had fun doing it and um yeah i hope it goes smoothly for you okay so that is now positioned where it should be so yay Okay, so now we've got to animate the thing. Also, we should probably put it at the top too. You're gonna have that on a waterfall. Definitely looks a little bit strange without it. So let's get that done. So to animate and tiled, right. Now how do you animate and tiled? What we do is we actually go directly into the tile set if you can see these films like little icons on here that's because that shows the tiles animated because this is the waterfall part that we've animated it's pretty easy once you know what you're doing um you gotta just click on it and i don't think the little pop-up's coming up but there's a little animation editor that's popped up and it's all done within there and you just have to click the free frames and then that's it you don't have to do it for the other these two but we'll do it we have to do it for this one though because that won't animate otherwise there we go it's as simple as just clicking on all the frames that you want to animate and then you save it and then it works immediately pretty nifty and now this looks a bit odd here it looks a bit strange because there's a very very strong straight line but that will be fixed when we add the little we'll be adding um let's open up our cliff layer we'll be doing this we'll be doing that but but um, obviously we're going to make sure they're edited and lo looking nice, not manky like that. <laughs> so we're going to make make those look a bit prettier now. But just so they look like how they looked originally. Um, like this, sort of half going in the water. I mean, the ones that we've got here go a little bit deeper than that actually. And, and, I, and the colours a bit, a bit less, uh, I think the colours a bit better too, because I did uh, so they might look even better when we get them in. It just like makes them look more deep. It look makes the water look more deep, not like super shallow. So it'll probably look better. Um, but let's just delete. Uh, that needs to go. Is it gone yet? No, it's still there. There we go. Okay, so I think that's our next job then, folks. We'll get these cliffs, all these water cliffs, not not like a harsh edge. We'll get them so they're half in the water. And then after that, we've got a waterfall to add here as well. In fact, we could do that now because that's a pretty easy job. Um, it's a small waterfall. Um, so... Hi Connie, how you doing? Let's catch up with chat. 
Oh yeah, so exciting. I'll tell you about it, but brace yourself because it's so exciting. You might may explode. <laughs> yeah, I do get excited quite easy when some when I read some at call. Um, hours and hours of instructional video just about to be a nail artist. Oh, interest. That's an interesting job. Very, very unique. I know so much about this now. I feel like being a nail artist is a viable plan B for me now. <laughs> Animation files. Yeah, if, if you wanted to, you know, paint your nails, we've been tempted since doing that. And thank you. It's very warm today in England, so you know I can't. I didn't want to have anything like a jumper on. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, my shoulders are exposed, unfortunately. Um, must say your nail matrix seem the most formed. Those lu luminous are most symmetrical. That distal free edge most flexible. <laughs> Indeed, what's your secret? My nails. Do you want to see them? Oh God, that means I'm swearing at you if I do that. I'm very sorry. Oh my goodness, I apologise, chat. I literally just put a finger up at you all. All I wanted to do was show leg mug my nails. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> there, I'll show you my thumb. I can't even turn my thumb around properly, but if I lift any of my other fingers up, it'll look like I'm putting up a finger at you all. There, if I do that, you can see. The really boring nails, guys. Not worthy of compliment <laughs> compliments at all. So well managed. Looks good so far. Yay, thank you, Van. Shoulder shocking soldier. I know, I'm gonna get banned for showing no shoulders. Um, see, I told you you get so excited. Apparently, you, you manifest your karma by giving us all the finger. You'll never forgive me now, will you, chat? That's it, that was the final straw. Okay, so let me remind myself how I do waterfalls. So how did our original one look? It's a little bit more back. Could we chop that bit off? Yeah, I think it looks a bit better if it's equal to the cliff. It's parallel to just like that one. And we put that one at the top so we can give the illusion of um, a sort of cliff, the cliff bending a bit, the top of the cliff, should I say? Oh, now that one's got to go on that one. <laughs> Don't even mess with my nails, you're ahead of me by far, really. I know that my nails are better than my dad's, you know, but... Uh, I mean, I don't, my nails aren't better than many people's, to be honest, but my dad doesn't even have a pinky fingernail, because he's bit it off. He, he's got like an addiction to biting his nails, so he don't even know his pinky. How sad is that? <laughs> Poor pinky finger. Not worthy of compliments at all nonsense, your nail bed. Uh, I can't even say that word because I'm so bad at pronouncing things. It's the most healthy shade of pink, you think? It is, I guess. They do look quite healthy. I used to paint them and actually had them be a bit longer. Um, but I really just lost patience having them longer. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it anymore. You can't do anything when you've got long nails. You get like stuff in them as well, like dirt. And um, I just trim them and shape them and that's about it. Yeah, I don't even use a nail file. But I'm very low maintenance, to be honest. So what's the story of these barrel characters? Are they under some sort of spell? Ooh, well, there is a backstory with them. If you've looked at our law bible, I'd, I'd suggest our law bible is the perfect place to go to find out more because there is a timeline about the barrel's lives, like when they were brought to life to the present day. 
and it's got a little bit of backstory on how they came about and it's all pretty mysterious at the moment there's not um there's not really like pages and pages of details at this stage but there's enough to sort of get an idea of what might be going on and um, we do have a, a video on youtube as well about that as well so if you want to watch it in video format you can i'm actually gonna because i don't know if i've still got the command of that video up in because it used to be the law command that video did but it got replaced with the law bible command but the video is still on the youtube so So there you go that should be the video so some people like to watch videos some people to like to read so or some people like both so feel free to have a nose thank you very much yes i'm always very excited to you know show off the law to people because i think we got pretty some pretty cool law developing with this and it's nice that folks take an interest I'm, you, I'm usually, you know, nerds, law, people who like law. They're the sort of people that, you know, this sort of stream is perfect for that because we're law geeks. <laughs> we're building a world, so it says it all. Um, all right, so uh, is this, could this be a little bit bigger maybe? I'm, not, I'm, tr I'm trying to think maybe that's fine or maybe one square longer from the bottom. I think it could be one square longer just so it looks like it's equal to this. That'll probably be a good idea. Um, so we'll delete this one above. There we go. Um, yeah the only thing is we've got this weird visual glitch thing and i'm not sure how we can solve that just yet because we might need to make a unique tile for it um but yeah i don't want to have to have too many unique tiles to cover up things like this because we will be taking up space but it might be the only option because we cannot leave that um but we have another one up there as well here there'll be a few of those so eventually um, I'll probably take a little screenshot of all the glitches and see the most efficient way we can um, make, like cover them up or something. Maybe only two. Oh, there's another here. We'll say. I don't, I don't think one or I don't think a handful of tiles is going to destroy the memory. So I think we'll be fine. Um, Okay, bizarre. We got the number two waterfall in. Um, we can actually delete. The, oh, I sometimes do that. I just like I'm going across the map and I do that. I've got to be careful because I might do that realizing sometimes. So I'm actually going to delete this cliff part here because we already have it on the waterfall anyway so it doesn't really add anything having it there okay waterfall done so now let's do these bits or oh, hang on is there any let me just have a look through because we've got yeah we've got here as well these underwater parts we'll need doing too um, we've got these, these are quite square and might need rounding off, but in the original we actually just covered those up with trees and you couldn't even tell. Um, but there's still, you know, if we look super close you can see it and um, so I still might think of a way to do that for those two. 
is that we're really efficiently going through our maps i think what because we're redoing really doing this anyway it only makes sense to do polishing at the same time too so we can get that job done because that was something on our trello page for this month to focus on like getting the maps improved because i saw that they weren't perfect they did for a first go like they they were fine uh, as like first draft but just looking at them sometimes i was like that needs changing <laughs> and um it was very so daunting to like actually edit them as parallax maps because uh it's not easy what you know what i mean you, you got you say you've got like a hundred trees on the map if they all need editing then you've got to edit all a hundred but with tiles all those trees will edit, be updated and improved at the same time because you just edit it on the tile sheet and then it updates it all in the program so it's just so much easier um i wonder if woody's scared of water it would make him soggy after all you know what you, this is what's so funny there is a soggy version of woody we actually have done the assets of woody when he's wet and it's genius wait till you see it because the whole plot is that the barrels the all the containers are gonna be like have raindrops be used for storing raindrops and stuff so poor old woody is not gonna suit that lifestyle at all is he let's face it um i've got to find this now because it's uh, just too perfect to not show off now we've got the opportunity so uh it's in my main image raindrop chronicles folder so i should be able to find it quite fast i better oh here it is oh my god that's wait till you see it though wait till you actually see oh my god he has a oh my god let me get it up it's hiding he has a chin he he thinks he's a hunk when he's wet because look at that chiseled chin he's like got He's really got it going on, like, <laughs> he thinks he's going to get all the ladies with that chin. Um, so, yeah, that's him when he's wet. <laughs> Afternoon show. Yeah. Um, it, just, it just was, like, too perfect to not do it like that. Because at first he's going to, like, freak out and be like, no. Like, he's not going to like the idea of getting wet. But then when he sees that chin when he looks in the mirror or when one of the characters mention it or something he's gonna love it and this is his sprite version um so that's him wet on his sprite and as you can say i mean you can't because it's a transparent image but yeah he's got puddles he's got the puddles so <laughs> bless him and we had some fan art of woody on our twitter as well um well, it's on the Discord, as actually, as well. Here it is. <laughs> he said, that's just raindrops, I swear. Meaning he's peed himself. He's peed himself. But, well, he hasn't, but it looks like that to everyone else. Um, that is really charming. It is. I think that's something that I really want to make sure we have in our game. Like a, a real cast of charming characters. Um, you know, quirky, charming characters. I think we've really got that so far and continuing it would be great. I th I'm really proud of the original character ideas that we've got. And I think the whole community aspect of the project, like us getting together and coming up with ideas is what's allowed us to have those characters because we all just ramble on about things in chat and yeah if this the, the, there can be so many really crazy and awesome suggestions right so we'll do we'll get those corners done but it, do, it is going to require a little bit of editing so it's mostly done but there's a few like messy bits on on these um 
on these clips. It's going to look badass when it's done. I'm getting confused with the zooming out and in on Tiled and Photoshop because it's different on both, the button that I use. Okay, so... actually overlaid part of our main cliff on these so I'm gonna I'm gonna copy the square in our main cliff and just overlay it over them because that might be the best way to get rid of the weird blue parts just got to make sure that it matches the pattern yeah, that matches. So I'll, I'll copy another one and just hide it. Yeah, those are looking much better. I'll have to do it for the corners too. So, um, yeah, there we go. Weird blue parts, but on those water splashes and shadows, they're there because I changed the colour of the cliff. The original colour of this cliff was much, much darker, so I used selective colour to um, change it to this, because this is not the original colour of those cliffs. Does it let me go back to how it was? No, it doesn't. But yeah, they were like basically a grey, a very dark grey originally. Um, and of course I need them to match the colour of our cliff so when I was doing that using the selective colour it kind of messed up some of the shadow colours on there um, and gave them this weird blue tint from the amount of selective colour edits I used to get them to change to the brown um, so I'm making sure that they resemble this as much as possible like because otherwise there's going to be a weird line that shouldn't be there when we match put the tiles together um, um uh, yeah it, funnily enough it could look like that i could trick i could have tricked people and been like oh it, it's just it's just the splashes <laughs> you know i could have done that for sure but yeah it was actually the the uh and uh, the uh, selective color going wrong um Okay, uh, right, so I'm thinking of how to do the corners. We should probably grab, let's just merge all these together actually because the, we're going to have way too many layers and get confused. I can't even find the layer now. There it is. Some of the um, sh some of the the uh, tiles weren't quite right either. Because um, if we test it in tiled, if we just put one there, um, cliffs. There we go. 
yeah so it wasn't quite right though when you zoom in you can see it's a bit offish and it might still look like that we might need to do a bit of fixing to to not have that this weird extra pic, couple of pixels at the top um, but we'll get that fixed I'm sure um, but we'll still add blue colour first We also might need to do two versions of these, one with shadow and one without, because sometimes we need both. Because some cliff parts have shadows and other parts don't as much. All depends on where the cliff is and what it's next to. So this one's actually got a shadow on it. Okay, so that is actually the right one. to be precise about this um there we go we've got to just Make sure we we get the like you know do this and go around it properly so we get the effect of the water the white the lighter part of the water where the cliff's just going in because I want this to look exactly like the tile that's underneath it just without the, the blue bits There we go. So now we can just copy all those and then do the same for that side. And then we can just test it in tile and see how it looks then. Luckily they're all the same. Because the thing that's different about these tiles, it's not the cliff part, it's the water positioning to make it look like the water's animating. That's why there's multiple tiles here because that water will actually animate around the cliff. So we'll have to set those up as animated tiles. So yeah, this is like added an, he's going to add an extra week or so, maybe a bit more than a week onto our uh, game development schedule but it's going to be well worth it because our map's going to be so much more polished as well as well as just more seamless it's one of those design details that just will make a world of difference while playing the game hi Aracle how you doing I'm so sorry for that bang by the way guys that just that my water bottle just did sometimes I might can uh, pick those bangs up yeah how are you doing Aracle I hope you're having a good Friday yeah? Happy Friday. Look at your beautiful, beautiful character oracle there standing on our screen with those beautiful purple eyes. <laughs> 
Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be as simple for these other ones as a simple copy and paste, we'll see. Bring it up here and flip it and have a look if it still fits. Hey friends, hi Kung, how you doing? It's so good to see you. Happy Friday Kung. Oh, yeah, that doesn't match. <laughs> so we need to do... That is sometimes why flipping and that doesn't work. It can it can be effective in saving tile set space, I suppose, if you do that within the actual tiled editor. But um, you, you kind of ruin it. You get you lose that very natural look. It starts to look a bit symmetrical, and that's a look that's a shame to lose in a forest. I think one of my main rules when my when before I even started the Everbloom Forest map was no symmetry, not in a forest. <laughs> um, where did that go? There, where is it? Where is it hiding? I think it's over here, isn't it? There it is. I'm good, T-Way. How are you today? Not doing too bad. There's a massive heat wave, though. It's like, it feels like the hottest day of the year, but we did have some hot days in June, from what I remember, so, <laughs> yeah. Very hot, and I'm not one for the warm. I don't mind it when it's a little bit warm, but not when you're melting. And it's just unpleasant. Symmetry in a forest means there is some kind of secret. Like, yeah, it definitely means something fishy is going on. <laughs> like a secret room somewhere. can actually do like go around this oh no it won't let me that's a shame actually i have to add that layer on to delete it as i'm going around it Paul is well. Hi, Doctor. Welcome back, Mr. Kung. How are you doing? Not very really good Friday. Do you have a dog? Oh, I don't. I don't actually have any pets because I'm li not living. I'm living with other people, and they don't want pets. <laughs> it's the one, uh, the one thing. And even if I like lived, um, didn't have that problem, I'd still be reluctant to get a pet because I'm on a budget. And I'd want to make sure that it was well looked after, you know. 
I've got no money. I'm poor. <laughs> But it'd be one thing I I would get exercise more at least. I love animals too much to to not let them have like a good home. I'd want to make sure I was well, like in a good a position to take care of a pet. I used to have a cat. That was a very long time ago now. Hmm. So part of me wishes I didn't delete some of those parts. Uh. There we go, that's better. It's a little bit dark blue from a distance and I didn't like it, but it's better now. Looks like some inks leaked into the um the river. There we go. Okay. So we've tidied them all up now. I'm gonna make sure all these layers get merged. So we'll, we'll just hide the ones that we don't want merged for now, temporarily. Hid some that we shouldn't have. Hang on. There's a bazillion layers here on this photo. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we accidentally merged those on the waterfall layer, so that's why that happened. Hmm. Let's submit that I've hidden that shouldn't have been. I think that's all of them. So, merge. There we go. But we're going to separate the waterfalls because we don't want them on the same way because we're getting confused. There we go. Hi, Ald, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I've seen pictures of your cat, Precious. Yeah, she was beautiful. She lived till she was like 20. She had a really long life. And she was really, really spoiled. Because my parents, my parents like prefer cats to dogs. I love them both, to be honest. I mean, I'm equal. I think they're both adorable. And I like Mr. Kung, yay. That's what I'm gonna call you from now on then, Mr. Kung or Doctor, one of those. How's the tile mapping going? Not too bad, Ald. We we were working on cliffs on Wednesday's stream when we first started doing this. And now we're on to water now. We've just worked out how, well, I recently worked out before stream even started how to animate the waterfalls and the water. Um, and now it's just, we're just tidying up certain sections now. We've got the, uh, these little cliffs here, we want to make them look like they're underwater, so we're going to be working on that. So yeah, well, cliff's done, then when water's done, we can get the paths and the grass all in. And then it'll just be adding the trees, which will be a, a much easier job. Um, because we can just overlay them on top of where what they're where they were on the other parallax map. 
um, and then it's the flowers and the vines and all the extra stuff. So yeah, lots, lots and lots of layers on this map. But it's going to look beautiful. And we've made some small improvements. I think the waterfall and cliffs look better than the original map did. So it's going to be beautiful when it's done. Because not only are we just changing the process of from uh, parallax to tiles, but we're, we're sort of improving the map where it needs to be improved as well. We, we're looking at the nitty gritty details and making sure that everything looks fine. Because, oh my god, there were dozens of little graphical glitches on those parallax maps that I've spotted. Like, I've looked for and I've been like, what's that? What's that? Like, loads of different little bits that went wrong. And oh my goodness, it would have taken so long to re edit those as parallax. <laughs> um, I have a black club, she's awesome, but as they get older, they're prone to all kinds of unpleasant health problems. Oh no! Bless them. I didn't realise that about labs. Labs are adorable. And um, we have a little dog, she's such a sweetheart. And share your pet pets, guys, in the Discord Adorable Pets channel, because we have got we've got loads that have been put in there over time. I always like to see them. I always like to see those pet pics. Some breeds have skeletal issues. Labs tend to have to deal with cancers as well. Is it just something that's labs, and no, not any other breed as much? Humans don't deserve dogs. No, definitely not. Definitely not. They love it. They love us so much. They place all their trust and loyalty in humans, and we don't deserve that. Are you editing existing textures, or are these completely new? They look pretty good. That we kind of like the original maps were a little bit more default from the from original tile, well not original tile sets, either the vanilla RPG Maker tiles or um, other people's tiles that I found online. But um, I've kind of made, done like more heavy editing this time with the cliffs and the water. Um, they're still based on the original tiles that we had, but just a little bit more enhanced and improved. They, they look a bit more seamless now, the cliffs do, than they did before. Because I had noticed with our cliffs originally, it almost looked like, well, there was parts where you could tell there was a line. You know, you can actually see the lines, that you can actually see the tile shape of it, and that bothered me. But with our new cl cliffs, uh, we don't have that. They look far more seamless, and it's that super pretty. And we've given the, we've even put like a cliff-like background now for our waterfall. So you, it's almost like, yeah, you you can see that there's a cliff behind that waterfall where that wasn't like that before. And also the colour match is much better now too, because I feel like this was a different sort of blue, almost grey, but now it's uh, the same colour. So um. It's all going well. I think it's been well worth it um, for many reasons, visually and um, gameplay wise it'll be a lot more seamless and smoother. Um, why is there a short haired rose sprite? That's Legmog guys. Legmog's character is a doppelganger of me. So how exciting is that? There's someone who is pretending to be me in the game and she's up to no good. She's an antagonist. Hee hee hee. I mean if she didn't have the short hair, you would literally think she was me. So Summit's gotta distinguish us from each other. But but the clothes, she's wearing green clothes and she doesn't have the scar either on her face, but yeah, she does very much look like me. <laughs> now, animals are too good for us. Yeah, there's so, there's just so, they're too good for this world in general. I wish people gave them more respect. They're so precious. 
I love pigs and I was like looking at pig pictures on Google Images the other day because I just wanted to see some pigs and some really horrible articles are coming up and I was like, no, leave, leave the pigs alone. <laughs> okay, so let's just test how this looks now we've edited the tile. So colour wise everything look oh did we even save it? Because I've noticed a bit of the blue is there still. <laughs> so let's save that uh, tile set. Um, also, I'm, I'm hiding the stuff, so let's just get it all back. There we go. So yeah, um, the 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 map it's the maps themselves are gonna look a, probably a little bit better and than they did originally, just just a little. But we're still gonna keep the vision with the maps. They're gonna look exactly the same, more or less. The positioning of everything, the trees, the cliffs, it's all gonna be the same. Um, um, the only thing that's probably going to differ is the flower arrangements on the map. They're not going to be exact because it will take too long to make those flowers look the exact same. I'm literally going to just put those, scatter those around in a different way. But it's not going to be like something that people are going to notice. They're not going to be like, oh my god, those flowers are positioned in a different way. <laughs> you know, those things are something you only notice if you overlay the two maps together. Um... Okay, <laughs> as if it'd be a big deal to change the position in the flowers anyway. Um, all right, I'm, I'm just, where are these tile sets hiding from me? Yeah, there we go, in that folder. Okay, so it is saved. Now, let's have a look how it is. Oh, why did I put two tiles? What's going on here? Okay, there's a there's a problem. Just a little problem. Okay, well the, there's one, there's a shadow there that shouldn't be. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to do a shadowed version of this as well for when it's like, when we position them there. Um, but the main thing we got to sort out is just as I expected my theory, we had a couple, we have a couple of extra pixels at the top that shouldn't be there. And uh, there's a, I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's it. So let's fix that first. But the colours are fine. Like we fixed the whole colour issue that we had. So because um, yeah, these the colour of these cliffs uh, wasn't a thing. Like they were much darker originally. So it took a lot of like colour editing to get these right. Um, but now they're basically exact. Um, Okay, so we're going to have to have a look at what needs. I think it's two pixels. It li literally just needs to go up two more pixels and I think then it will fit and match seamlessly. Ever seen the glow in the dark pigs? Crazy genetic scientists made them to find cures for other stuff, but it's crazy to see, really. Glow in the dark pigs? I bet they look cute, but I hope that they're, they're being looked after and taken care of. Because I love pigs. Okay, so I'm going to just test something for the purposes of seeing if. this fits so I'm gonna just for now delete those two top pixels to say um, and just move them up these these particular tiles here up by two and yeah we are gonna have a gap at the bottom of the tile set from doing that but we can fix that later if this works Thank you. 
So I'm just gonna, yeah. Are they, we gotta make sure, let's make sure that it's seamless. Is there anything that shouldn't be there here? I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident it's how it should be. Yeah, I'm looking, this tile here, that one right there, matches with that one at the edge, so. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's fine. It certainly looks better than the old cliff in terms of being seamless. Um, okay. And there's this water bit there on this layer that once we fill in the pixel bit, then those two can get put together as well. So it'll, it'll look like that, but much tidier. So we gotta just fix the pixel gap, the two pixel pixel gap and raise this corner one as well. And then we need to add shadows, I believe to certain cliff sections, but we'll see which ones need the shadow added to after, but we need it there. And that's a big job done because it makes such a difference to actually see the cliffs going in the water. Um, and I think it may even look better than the original. The original looks okay, but I prefer that there's more depth on this one. Because, you know, it gives, it makes it, the river look deeper and not like super tiny shallow. Um, so yeah, once we're happy with those, we'll go around all of these and put them on those cliffs as well as these ones down here. And we'll also deal, do, sort out the water thing down here too. But we, we, we slowly come into place, like I feel like we've done quite a bit since the last stream. Like it's actually looking like, you know, it's not just like a random flat bit of brown on the... Uh, on the screen like it was on uh, on Wednesday. It's coming into place. It'll be fun to start adding all the extra details. Okay, so back to Photoshop. So first Gonna erase all of these ones. Well, we'll delete the. I don't know why there was an extra two pixels on these cliffs. It's quite strange how it, how it ended up that way, but things happen. Oh no, those weren't the ones that needed doing. We'd already done those, silly Billy. Also guys, I'm going to be putting a trivia in chat soon. Just realised we haven't done one yet today. Right, so how are we going to fill this in? Um, probably the best thing to do is make sure that we 
copy a bit of water, we'll just copy this bit here and see if we can make sure we overlay as it should so it matches with the animations. That might be a bit challenging. Hmm. Another thing we could do, probably just to make things a little bit easier, we go for a bit that doesn't have the horizontal lines. We'd also need to make sure that matched as well. So, copy this bit. I mean, it's only two pixels, so I don't think it's going to... Yeah, we want to make sure, even though it's only two pixels, we still want to make sure it fits because it's so obvious that the rock's not got two, like lines through it otherwise. Um, so I'm going to just grab a bigger section, I'm going to grab the whole tile and just put that underneath. Like we just did, but we didn't have as much to work with that time. But so there we go and I'll put that under so that might be it I'll know when I see the same rock start here enough Interesting. That might do. I don't know though. It's it's a difficult one, this is harder than you think because it's such a small little line, like two pixel line, but it could just be like really jarring to the eye just to see something not quite right or a pattern that's not matching are things starting to get back to normal for you or are they still lockdowns things are pretty much back to normal in the uk because i think like it's rapidly gone down like the cases we get daily now but i'm i'm just of the opinion that it doesn't mean you should just act like a kind of idiot still like still be careful because it's not, it's not over. So, yeah. But things, things are better here anyway. But still, still far from over. They were rose, but Greater Manchester is in lockdown now. Oh, really? I haven't been keeping up with the news, in all honesty, because I find it depressing and I like to just get away from it sometimes. So I'm, pr I'm probably like not as in the know on the latest stuff. But yeah, it doesn't surprise me that that's happened because I think, uh, you know, it's, it was inevitable. Okay, that 
we got it fitting we got the matching pieces i think yeah it looks like uh, i'm looking at the rock shapes we did have to like move it horizontally a bit so I think it'll be the same though whatever pattern we go for here it'll be the same for the other two copy and paste this two pixel line mm. I just want it to match hard to t like look at this pattern and see what's what because it's so subtle there's nothing that stands out much about it we'll get there maybe that's it as long as it doesn't look stupid you know what I mean we might not get the exact Let's get rid of the grid line, that will help, because seeing that grid line can be really, um, dish, you know, it's really hard to like to say, yeah, screw grids, screw them, because <laughs> it's like, it makes it impossible to like tell the, tell what's what when there's a grid line there blocking the tile set way. So yeah, that it's made it look really ugly getting rid of that grid. It's made me realise that 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 doesn't work at all. So let's delete it again. Um, okay, so how are we going to do this in the easiest way? Basically, guys, if you're confused, we're trying to find the li the pattern. So we're trying to fill in this little blank bit of two pixels, this horizontal to a line, so that it's seamless. And it, it's quite tricky finding the exact pattern part of here that's meant to fit in. Um, hmm. In all honesty, I'm, I'm going to do it this way instead. Because I'm, I'm starting to think this is pretty tough doing it that way. So I'm going to... Let's, let's just put our grid back. I'm going to move this up. Because I think that matches. Yeah, it does match. And I think that's why it wasn't working in all honesty. Because this... You know, the, it was impossible to make it seamless when the matching part had been split so yeah i'll do it like that and then we'll just fill in this bit this is going to be super easy to fill in because there's no detail there so huzzah did it guys um Now, I'm going to actually delete these ones because we don't use the, the water that doesn't have the lines.
Also, what are you doing here? What are you doing here by day? Bye. Um, okay, so many more to get because we don't want any unnecessary tiles that we don't need it just takes up space and it, it's also confusing for me as well when there's all these tiles that we don't use on the sheets so we'll, we'll keep it just from now on with everything we do in the future with all the other regions that we introduce in the future too to doing it that way because that's one thing I didn't do when I was doing tile sets in the early days of this project I just left everything on the tile set even the things we didn't use so um, we can like bring everything up a bit more then as well have everything higher up you have a great attention to detail I would have given up and just plastered it all together that is why you are good at this oh thank you Oracle I appreciate the compliment yeah it's one of one thing I pride myself on I do have a very good eye like even if there's one pixel wrong I will notice it um I mean we're all human sometimes I might not if I'm not paying attention but when I am looking at something I usually will notice it um and I'm one of these people as well, I, 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 it would bug me as well to just leave it any old time. Because um, I think with the energy I'm putting into this project anyway, of course I'm going to make it even better. I'm not going to just um, do a rush job to something I'm like dedicating a decade of my life to doing, you know what I mean? I'm going to make sure it's good. I'm gonna try my best to make it good anyway. You gotta, you gotta have that attitude, otherwise, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so thank you, Oracle. Okay, so we'll fill in this weird gap thing first, and then we will put them all together. And now that we've allowed for more space on the sheet as well, we can do the ones with and without shadows as well, which will be handy because we'll need ones with and ones without shadows too because not every cliff has a shadow. Also, yeah, let's do that. If we put it off, then if we put it off, off a bit, then it doesn't look the same, but... I think we need to get rid of these dark pixels and light pixels because it looks strange. So we'll just remove those. We'll just fill in these bits as well. Damn grids. Need to get hard get rid of them because when you want to be precise with putting pixels down, it doesn't like you when you've got a grid up. No, I don't think I need to get rid of those ones. Only the ones on the bottom two pixels. There we go. Much easier to do it that way because it was pain in the ass to make sure it was seamless on the cliff with that gap so I realised it was going to be much easier to deal with this light blue section at the bottom so that's the best way to fill it in um, yay okay so let's put our cliff back um, and we can just copy and paste that now for the rest
Yay. Okay. Let's merge them. I've merged basically the whole layer together now because I don't think it's going to need much more editing. I'm still not sure about the putting the waterfall down here. I think it's gonna be a bit weird seeing it there, but I'm sure we'll find a spot for it once we know when we're finished with what we're doing. Um, hmm. I could move it up one more. probably better to have everything together there we go so let's save it now and we'll start adding I think it's probably going to be in a good enough stage to put them down now so yeah I'll be working on more of this over the weekend as well and I hope I've got some more to show you on Monday there's definitely going to be more to show you guys it's definitely gonna have be more full but I will also be doing law bible stuff um adding more character profiles slowly to the law bible this weekend too so if anyone wants to have a look at our Trello um we do we do have a um the uh, schedule of what I'm going to be working on so it's a mixture of lower bible stuff and doing this stuff for the time being I recently added the currently working on section on there um, okay so it's gone messy because we moved everything so let's delete okay are you ready to see a, a super pretty clip Okay, so as you can see, this is why it says we're going to need some that don't have shadows because this is what happens when you have shadows on all. Yes, there's a black part and there's a weird line. So we're going to have to have um, a section, I mean a tile set without the shadow for that particular one. I mean, a solution would be to just put shadow all up here, but I think it looked too thick if we did that. Too much shadow, because we've already got a shadow here. Uh, I mean, we could do that, and it might look okay, actually. Hmm. I know. Because I did try that at one point, and it just looked too much. I think it'll be fine. Um, right. I'm gonna put a trivia question in chat, folks. So feel free to answer it in your own time. Whoever answers first, they will get the point. What is the name of the village where the story begins, guys? Oh, that trivia question's getting hidden. Oh, Van, Van is here. There was me thinking that that question I'd go missed because it's in between two bot commands. <laughs> I do intend to like put some emojis there on that uh, um, trivia question. I'm just so it stands out a bit more in case what it does go miss. But well done, Van. You got it right. And Kung was really close. You guys are there waiting in the shadows, ready to answer the questions. I love it. Okay, so points. Um, Vandalia won. So you're getting. And it's exclamation mark leaderboard, guys, if you want to see where the current leaderboard stands. And it is the last day of the month today, but we're not going to have a law master yet because we only just started the trivia last week. So we're going to wait until the last day of August to give our person who's top of the board the law master role. And hi, Nungi, how you doing? It's good to see you. 
hope you're having a good day. I'm a blob, for yeah, I think blob's a key word. Blobby blob. And that's fun, leaderboard, yeah. It's, it's, it's the perfect thing for those of you that find law fun, particularly in our game, of course, because you, you won't know the questions if you don't know our law, but right now the questions that are up are quite easy. Over time we might make, make some harder ones go up, but of course, like, as the more we do, the more law we're going to get. So this, um, this trivia will be ever-growing, because there'll always be questions added forever and ever to this trivia more as we get more of the story and lore done um so yeah we've we've been doing it for about a week so far and it's been a lot of fun and it, it's too early to close to to give someone the lore master role now because it hasn't been a full month but uh i'm excited to see how that leaderboard's gonna look at the end of next month how it's all gonna appear by then and who's gonna be top um, you see, I'm focused on work, but then you say trivia, and I just boom, I look at the chat, ha <laughs> ha, that is the joy of being a lurker, you know, you're prepared, you're there, and you're prepared, you're ready to be there, and I, like I said, I'm going to get, I'm always going to like, kind of give you guys warning, I'm going to be like, we'll be doing a trivia in a few minutes, um, and then I'll be like, okay, trivia time, because um, if I'm like, trivia, yeah no one it, it's very a lot i kind of like giving you guys a, something to get excited about and get excited about the trivia coming up in a few minutes it, it gives a bit more hype so yeah try and try to auto correct it to that leaderboard <laughs> that's a funny one so how is it looking now the leaderboard who is uh who's top at the moment i know that van and ray do were close when i last looked um, but um, Kung and Rex were also doing decently on that. Sounds like a good way to get Van into trouble. Just say trivia randomly every five minutes or so. Yeah, we kind of did 20 questions on the first day that we launched it. And then I was like, we're going to have to slow down because we're going to be using up all our questions. <laughs> Lol. Okay, so I'm going to get all of our uh, cliff bottoms in and we'll look at the ones that have shadow on at the end and then we'll know which ones we need to do a new tile for. But I think everything's fine. Like, looking at it, it's only the shadow that's the weird visual glitch on this now. So we did it. I think we did anyway. I mean be aware that it's not animated and that looks weird but we will be animating it at the end i mean we can always do that now in all honesty it's an easy enough to do and you, okay so i'm gonna make sure i'm always using that first tile because otherwise the animation will be out of sync so we'll do the animation first um, and then we'll add the, also I don't know why the cliff's like that, there we go. Um, okay, so pretty easy to do animations, we go into the map again, um, we open the animation editor. So you can see a film sort of icon coming up and that's that means that it's got more frames in it now. You're not missing much. My win my window capture isn't capturing um the this part I'm adding the frames to, but there's not really much in there. I'm literally just clicking the flight frames in the order that of the animation. Hmm. I lost focus then, so I'm going to start again because I might have clicked the wrong frames. So we'll do that again. We'll do it all again. Pavlog and his dogs. <laughs> Hi 
The good thing about uh, this program, though, it's it's just we can be potentially more ambitious with um, the animations if we do wish. Also, I've done this wrong. I keep doing it wrong. I'll get. We can if it, add even more frames if we want than just the traditional three that RPG Maker allow. That's better. I was doing it the wrong way round the animations. I was doing it vertically instead of horizontally. Okay, that's done. And one cool thing you can do is you can change the speed of the animations too in Tiled. I think the waterfall speed looks about right to me. That was an edit. It, I did make it a little bit faster to what it was originally, I think. I think just a touch. But now, look, click, it's animating. How nice does that look? Can actually see the moving now. Hmm. I think there's a little glitch, a tiny glitch there though. I need to fix that before we proceed. I've just noticed that the it's kind of juttering, which kind of could be the effect of the water, in all honesty, but it's not meant to be like that, so I am gonna change that. Um, so, what it is, is something just out of place by a frame, I think. I mean, a pixel, not a frame. Um, it's gone down by one pixel at some point. And so has that one, I think. That one looks okay. Hmm, it's a tough one this because it's so, the pattern is so subtle, nothing like stands out massively but it's definitely going lower at one point and it shouldn't be by literally just a pixel okay so i think i've figured it out um Interesting. Hmm. Because it's perfectly fine here in this section, by the look of things. Maybe. Because the cliff's fine, it's just this bottom bit here that seems to be jittering. Ooh. This will always happen, guys. I always get troubleshooting. <laughs> Nothing ever goes smoothly. Um, I need to figure out where the point is it starts. Yeah, from about there. No. Oh, hmm. It was obviously, I know how it happened. It was when I was shifting the. Uh, I don't know how it did, but I know it was when I was doing that when it must have happened. Um, hmm. I 
The only other thing I can think of doing is... Yeah, it would be a bit, might be a bit tricky though. It's a good job we animate it now though, because we know now that there's something wrong with the animation. Otherwise that would have come back to bite us on the butt when we thought everything was perfect. So I'm going to just, let's go back in tiled a sec. I want to get them all in first. Um, I want to get, because we haven't, we're in the middle of doing it and we haven't finished. I want to make sure the animations are okay on these ones too. Um, need to work out which ones have gone wrong and which ones are fine. Yeah, the, the one, this one here is, is absolutely fine. That one didn't get ruined. That one's as it should be. So is the middle one. It's literally just this one corner tile that's being a weird one. Um, okay, so we could... I wonder if this will be an easy solution for us. I'm not sure, but we might as well try. Um, does this... Is this symmetrical? I know we said no symmetry. But I just want to see if it is symmetrical. Because if we can just copy this one, it will make, will make things a little bit easier with solving the problem. Um, but I know it probably isn't symmetrical, but let's look. Nope. We can't copy that because it'll look weird. But we'll just have to fix it then. Do, do a proper look at it and see where it needs fixing now if we kept if we did keep that uh, old layer we might be able to do something so let me just save i'm glad we're doing the animation part now though because i feel like this this was the hardest part getting the water animated and the waterfall like doing the paths and grass and trees is like way more straightforward um, the flowers might be a bit tricky because we got to arrange them and stuff, but it's definitely not going to be as like, tricky as animations. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's go back. And I've, sa I've saved it so we're good. We won't lose what we've done. But what I'm going to actually do is Here the bit that doesn't have the, the water. Oh, here it is. It's the right one. And they are the exact same, yeah. doing that because okay. I've not that okay okay so I've copied that so let's uh cloud it down delete that
So we need to do that two pixel thing. Yes, I have no idea what, what happened there and why only a few went up and the others didn't. But if we do that, can we use a blending mode to handle this or do we have to add the pixels manually? We'll find out. I think that could work. I think that it's uh, made it a bit light though. It's a good job we had that tile because it would have made it pretty tricky otherwise. So was it light colour? Yeah, it was. Um, oh, we could. This might be the better option actually. If it lets us. It's grabbed all of them now. Which is okay. Yeah, for some reason the cliffs look not as, the colours are a little different and that might be because I've manually changed the colours. I might have changed the levels on them. So let's uh, see if we can replicate that. Uh, no, I don't think it was levels that I did. I must have been... that let's see if that okay now it's too dark so we need to go in between because we want we want to make sure we get those shadows the correct color because it'll the color will look weird then between the cliffs so let's try and get it as exact as possible To take a bit of mess in. Next to each other, they look the same. Yeah, we, as long as it's, uh, that might be okay. I don't think like a tiny, tiny colour difference is going to be the end of the world. As long as we just don't want a weird line of two different colours next to each other when the tiles are put together. That's all we want to avoid. I think that might be okay. So if we save it, that might have solved our weird animation problem that we have. Um, huzzah. Oh, 
Yeah. And if we look super close, where the tiles would meet, they look fine. I mean, there's only the shadow thing that's the weird glitch, but ignore that for now because we'll fix that in a bit. Okay, so there's only one other thing I can see wrong now, and it's the corner here is a little bit not matching. You can, like, very clearly, if we zoom in, see the corner. So, we, we can either do, we can either delete that whole bit together or we can change its colour so it does match. So, looking good, yay. See, I've got a really clear eye because, you know, I don't think, I think you would have had to have really looked to have spotted that corner being. But to me, it was like, whoa, that corner's there. <laughs> um... And the row between two columns, three and four, first highlight and the line is the dark picks in the centre of the highlight bar. I'm not going to, yeah, it's going to be hard for me to know which row, row you mean, Ald. Um, which, which one? So hang on. Just because I'm, just because I'm really rubbish at things like this, following instructions, precise, written ones. Awful at that, awful at doing that. I am. <laughs> Row two, okay. So row two, I'm gonna have to need know what row two is because that could either be that or that or even that could be row two. I don't know. I don't know, Alt. You have to just help me out a bit more. Um, looking good. And the left tile is lit pixel, then dark, then the next tile is a light edge. So it's a single pixel of darkness. Yeah. Um, I know it's probably putting you out, but it will be a lot more helpful for me if, like, you took a screenshot and put a circle around it so I could see the actual image rather than uh, give me a written description because I'm absolutely, it's almost like I can't, I just can't do it. It's not something that my brain just doesn't di digest instructions at all written like that. Um, and thank you. That would be all really awesome. I know that it's putting you out, but it'd be super helpful for me having it done that way. Can you flip it back for the tile set for me to screenshot? Yeah, sure. Do you want? Do you want? Oh yeah, you want the Photoshop not tiled on. There we go then. So if you want me to move down, just say, or if I'm in the right section, that would be great. Because I'm not even sure if I'm showing it. <laughs> But yeah, it, it's always helpful, like, spotting these sort of things. And who knows, maybe I would have seen it myself eventually, but it's always helpful if someone else spots something too. Because I've only got one pair of eyes, haven't I? But while, while, you, while you've took the screenshot, like, of course, just let me know if you want me to zoom out or go up. Um, I'm gonna deal with this thing that we've got here. Got it. Yay! Hi, Matt. How you doing? It's good to see you. What issue are we looking for? Just a, from what I'm aware, just a tiny little visual glitch that I haven't spotted, but Eld did. So he's just taken a screenshot for me because it's a lot more easy for, like, say, you guys to take a screen grab and put a circle around it and then send me the image, Earl. Um, URL rather than give me the tell me the row number it's on just a lot easier for me to digest that way um, there's a goblin hiding in the picture you need to spot it how are you doing Matt? I hope you're having a good Friday okay so a part of me doesn't want to delete the blue bit because it might mess up some of the nice fine details we've got here so I'm more inclined to recolor it but of course it needs to we need to be super like accurate if we are gonna do that so that it looks like there's no line I mean it is just our water tile so it could be let's we do have our water tile here so if we bring our water tile across um, i 
Today my brother nephew will be coming to visit. Oh, that's nice. Are you going to be doing anything nice or just chilling? So if we overlay that. Um, hmm. So yeah, we can... Uh, If we do that, we'll get rid of the, t the grid because it can be a bit hard to tell the difference with the grid. But like that, we'll see the colour difference. So, I think we can just get the blues from selective colour and it'll only change the, the blues then and it won't affect the rest. Ah. And it might change the colouring on these a bit if we do that but that might be better because it'll match even more then um so it's a little bit great got a bit too much green in it i think rather than blue so selective color oh okay we need to merge stuff together i've just realized because everything's on different layers since we fixed the glitch Side effect from stream kind of tip, but Flick, was that okay? Thank you for that image. I will copy and paste that right now and have a peep. Um, Sunday, we're having a little bit of earthly birthday together. Oh, hope you're having cake. This spot had an odd flicker at the boundary when repeating call. Okay. I'll have it. When we look go back into tiled, I'll have a look at that. And sometimes, you know, things can get like that. You never know. We'll have a look, though. Okay. Um, so we'll work on what we're doing now, one thing at a time. Uh, so selective colour. Um, cyan. We'll try and get this so close that it almost looks like there's no line there. That's kind of the goal. Because I, I, to me, I'm, I'm, I just find that easier rather than deleting it all. Because it'll get rid of the fine details. I think that's pretty close. I mean, it's completely changed um, the colour of the cliffs. I mean, I might, I might want to be a bit more... I mean that colour's fine in all honesty. I feel like it matches if as long as it matches more with our wall, our main water tile, that's why we're doing it. So we've kind of gone a bit more blue, richer, like a deeper blue. We'll see how it looks. If we preferred the original colour, we can always just um adjust the threshold or something as much as we can or only highlight those bits uh, but I, I don't think this that's a bad colour it, it did change that but that's not that's only there for um and enjoy the lie down I recall I'm set up to grab audio and video on the fly thanks to work, so screenshots are easy to do. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Definitely makes things much easier for me. I'm one of these people that would I'd take a good half hour to understand an instruction. Um, okay. Rainbow Unicorn. Mm. 
Van and, Van and Azriel having some banter, I see. Okay, so, um, I think, oh, something's gone on there since we did that change. <laughs> we got rid of one of our, uh, I think, yeah, we accidentally left the water tile on top, that's why. Oopsie, let's fix that. Um, I think I still, I prefer the colour it was before, it, it kind of blended better, so I'm going to go back. Uh, I mean, I still like that blue, but it's, it, I don't think it, it like blends as well, um, so. Yeah, we're just going to highlight that bit. So it'll only change that colour, but it'll change those bits too, but it, that might look okay. If we lower the tolerance a bit more, what happens then? Yeah, we'll always grab that, um, unless... Yeah, if we don't, if we click contiguous, then it'll only grab that. We'll, yeah, we'll do that. Now that we've got the magic wand around, it might be a little bit tougher to see if it's the same colour. But we'll get that. I should have written them down. <laughs> also, we'll have another trivia in chat in a few, guys. So get, get your heads together. Get the law bible read up. That's what it was before. Let's let's click it. There we go. And that's what it was now. You're not going to even tell that there's a square there now. We've done that recolouring. And I think every yeah, all of all of them have coloured. Okay, so now that can move because we accidentally had that over our tile. It shouldn't have been. It ruined our animation. Okay, there we go. So, looking better. We'll look at that uh, little glitch thing in a second. Oh. Just as I thought things were better, there's uh, something going on here where it's shifting again. Why does it keep doing that? I just fixed that earlier. And it's back, but it's different now. Because it's not the bottom part that's doing it, it's the top bit. Very bizarre. Okay, so we'll get all these fixed. Um, but first, PNG image. Okay, so. So that's the middle animation frame then. And it's on it's on the middle and the left one in around the middle position. Why have some of those turned blue as well? Strange. So the things that are sticking out to me about it, because I'm watching the animation now, are the, this weird, it's going up a little bit here and it shouldn't be, and uh, the water is blue in this section instead of like white, which I don't know how that's happened and the shadow keeps distracting me as well, but there's nothing else. Unless, I'm, unless Elder's just got a really good eye. I can't see 
an odd flicker unless like you say it was a glitch with the stream i don't know it's a strange one i'll have a, I'll st i won't give up on it though i'll still keep an eye out but yeah there's definitely other things that are standing out more that are wrong with it uh for me anyway um he 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 okay so why is this being a butt face to us we sort one thing out and then there's another <laughs> okay so looks like it's all equal anyway like everything's level i'm gonna have to look again let's zoom in super close Yeah, it's just the top corner. Maybe one frame has gone wrong. I think it's that one. Oh no, it's this one. It's the first one. Oh no, it's that one as well. Damn it. This left corner doesn't like me very much because this was the one we, we fixed before. Hmm. At least the bomb bit's animating properly now. Nice, I like 2D. Hi, hi, Rule, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, 2D, it's a very nostalgic thing for a lot of us, yeah? I really like the colours. Yeah, I think they're much prettier than they were on the original map. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm super glad that I've given them a little enhancement because you know we want we want pretty we want the prettiest maps possible that spot still looked like it had a visible border to me but it might be an odd artifact yeah um once we fix the current glitches i might be able to spot that more i think what it is um, if, if it is something and not an artifact, then it, it's probably that the other things are really catching my eye right now and I can't spot anything else. But once they're sorted out, I'm, that one or this other bug might be a little bit more visible to my eye then. But I've got your screenshot anyway, so, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I know where to look at least. Um... yeah no worries i mean we'll get there the good thing about doing it on tiles now as well is i mean let's face it when we release like all our playable builds the first second third however many there'll always be bugs and glitches throughout the whole thing so we'll be constantly improving upon the tiles i'm sure if anybody play tests and that there'll be things that are spotted it's just one of those things that never end <laughs> So I'm just, I think this is the big jarring one to me at the moment, this, uh, this one. So we get, we're going to unfortunately have to go back to our old sheet again to get that other tile back. Um, I'm going to save this one though, because we're going to just get that old tile and overlay it again. So not that one, because that was actually the wrong one. Um, yeah, I think that... It might be in the colour change that messed things up with that, I don't know. But I am going to copy and paste that anyway and like lay it over again.
It doesn't look like there's any difference with them though. It's strange, isn't it, when you don't recall something, but it there's a weird glitch and you think, how did that happen? Because I'm no animation expert, far from it. Um, but these, at the end of the day, these are just, these aren't mine. These aren't my assets. These are just other tiles, but they're still glitchy. But that's my positioning that's the problem there. Even though, as far as I'm aware, I haven't done anything out of the ordinary to make that happen. And it's very difficult to notice what what's the problem as well. It looks like it's the top third of the far left though of that tile. Okay, I think yeah, it's literally just it's going down by one pixel. So I need to Hmm. So those two, it's like that. So yeah, it's it's the first and the fourth that are like too low. That's what it is. So what I'm gonna do? I guess I could. I mean, I don't want to mess up the water animation. That's the only problem. Um, uh, I get it I copied and pasted that and because that's the bottom it fixed the bottom but not the top it makes sense now because this is only the bottom section that I overlaid right okay so I sort of just half fixed it I'm kind of understanding now Okay, trivia guys, I said I was going to put one in, so here we go, five, four, three, two, one. It likes this question, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, Kung, she was going to get it, but she said toes instead of rows. Oh my goodness. Van has to get the point because Van typed it incorrectly. Unfortunately. It was well attempted though, Kong. <laughs> it was well attempted. Toes. <laughs> oh my god, Rose rhymes with toes. I've learned something now today. I'm never going to get over this. Okay, well done, Van, but GG, Kong. I believe in you. You're going to do awesome at this floor stuff. There you go. GG. GG, Van. It was very close. Okay, so I think... Did did the other sheet have a version without the stuff in front? I don't know if it did or not. Hmm. What makes this so difficult is that these little horizontal lines are animated, so I can't just overlay one of these on top because it'll ruin the water animation. Um, hmm. not a simple one we'll see though what we can do we'll get around it somehow i think up to about wait it was definitely the end of the tile yeah we'll grab the whole 48 by 48 tile
And it's just the first and the fourth frame that it seems to be, judging from what I've seen. I mean, does, is the water that important? Because the way it might have been done might be just random. I guess we'll just watch it and see. So I've literally just overlaid those two and it might look terrible, the water animation, but it might look fine. We'll only know when we test it. So. So we've solved the problem of the shaky cliff now. It's still finally. But is the water animation strange? That's kind of what I'm wondering now. Because I feel it was probably done in a pattern, you know, and I feel I might have made it look manky now. It's it's not, people, unless you're like an, a water animation learner, do not going to pay attention, but it still bothers me that I might have broke the animation by doing that. Um, so, I've got another idea. Um... is to grab the animation if we can if it'll let us i think the tolerance is too high I still don't know why it's blue, this animation on that tile. We've got to look into that problem, too. This is weird. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so inverse copy I don't think we can it lets us select something that's already selected so oh god this this could get potentially very messy um, yeah I'm very this is this is very hard getting this uh, there's so much there's so much stuff going on in here you got the water you've got the cliff and so much screws are up with it, you've had it. And that's what's happened. Um, so let's... Hmm. Okay, so... I just want to grab this, these parts here. Um, okay. Okay, so this is what I want. Right, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be really patient now because I'm gonna have to be if we're gonna solve this one. And just so you know, guys, we're going a bit further with this because in the original map, we didn't have um, 
the water by the cliff actually didn't animate. The water, did, the actual water animated, but not the bits around the cliff. So we're getting a little bit more detailed, so I suppose it's worth it <laughs> when you think that the original didn't have that. Because we could easily just not animate this, you know. We could like screw animating the these bits around the cliff and our problems would all be solved. But like, you know, one look is good. So I'm going to do this, this is, the way. this is how we're going to do it, we're going to need a bit of patience here but it's the way to do it, so there, and actually name that layout water bits just so I know, capital letters and exclamation marks, I don't forget where it is, and now that's how it should be. And that is the water animation that we need, this one here. So we're going to delete it on this one. And I'm going to get the tiles back because we can't even see where the end is. Okay, so I've got to delete it, which means we've got to make sure that it looks all right, the bits that we fill in are natural. Um, and we could we could fill it in with random blue pixels but it could look odd again but I, I don't know if it's uh, strong enough to notice the difference there so I'm actually going to just fill it in with blue pixels and if there is any weird visual glitches where uh, bits are too light or dark blue we'll just deal with them when the time comes um, I'm just I'm trying to copy this one next to it I'm looking to see because it is the same one also is, it's a very a bit of a pain now. You can't be precise with the pixels when having grades up. Yeah, I'm just I'm copying this here because it's the exact same shape. So we just got f a few bits to fill in and this is the long annoying way, you know, but it's the only way we're going to make it work that I can think of right now. It's not going to take that long in all honesty. All we need to get rid of are the, the ones in this little square here. Lord, I should just give up. No, you, you're doing really good, Kung. You're one of the the best participators in our law in our law trivia. So, and it's appreciated. It's nice to have people get involved. I think we've got rid, I think we've done it. I think we've got rid of the bits we needed to. Oh my God, is this all over? This will be such a relief when we finally get all these cliff parts in. Um, okay. So it looks like it's just the one bit. Literally just this one here. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not even clicking on the eye drop at all this whole time. Let's fix that. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, so that's it. That is how it should look. My goodness me. What a palaver that was. Okay, so let's, what we need to do is just merge those. Now that's appeared. No, we got some weird, there we go. Now it's as it should be. Um, we'll delete that fourth one and we'll just copy and paste. Well, we can't because we have to do it for that one too, damn it. Okay, one sec. Shouldn't have deleted that. Um, okay, so there we go. Because it was only two frames that needed fixing here, so we've done the first, now this is the second, and then it's forever done, my goodness. Mapping is a big, big part of making a game. Okay, so we need to copy these now like we did the others. Now, I could just be like, whatever, we'll, we'll just have the water any old how and have the lines be. But I don't want to potentially mess up the water animation because I do think it it is a pattern and it looks, it do, did look nicer before I started randomly putting down it anywhere. So, okay. Um, so it's just these oh we don't want to grab in that much so just those those in that toss so there we go water bits too, I'm going to call that. So that wasn't as bad because we'd already done the filling in which was the hard part so let's merge those. Done. Um, I'm getting confused because I've got a lot of layers here and I need to think of what, what's what. Tile 4. Okay, I've got it. And that's tile one. Hmm. Thank you. 
Okay, I think that's perfect. So I'm going to save that now and we're going to look. And if all is working, the cliff shouldn't start, like move anymore. And the water animation should look good as well as the cliffs. And then we can move on to the next thing. <laughs> all the things. Okay. It's working. We did it. So it did take, what, an extra 10 minutes of patience. It was a pain in the butt to do, but worth it because it's working now. Okay, so save. Um, now, the one, the other thing that, obviously there's the shadow. I keep saying ignore that because I know it looks terrible. Um, but there's this blue thing. For some reason, the water's blue here and white everywhere else. Now, why has that happened? It's heat like that here as well. Okay, so if we look, a virus shop. I don't remember any of them being blue. But we'll look because maybe it did go blue lower down. It did. Seems that they did turn blue down here on this frame. Okay, so that's what happened. I have no idea why they turned blue, but they did. Um, so, I'm going to get them back, because if we go up here, yeah, we've already got them like that now, and last, okay, so, we have a, another file somewhere, as well, so let's just save this one first, merge that one, save, open up the old file and just copy and paste the white sections in that. And they're still blue. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so there's no fixing it by going to an old file, so we'll have to recolor in here. Um, I don't think the animation's the same pattern on the one above, so we can't just... Oh, or maybe it is the same. No, it isn't. Okay, so the only other thing I can think of is literally click them all and just change them to you know white <laughs> or the same color that's the other thing so um tolerance let's get this let's click as many of them as we can um yeah so we wanna it's a bit high i think There we go, I think we've grabbed most of them, but not all. Okay, so we've grabbed all of them, but we've grabbed other stuff too, but we'll just we'll just delete the rest after no problems at all. Hmm. I feel like making this a, a horrible bright colour just so we can easily delete. Them and then we can. So yeah, we will do this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I need to know what I've got to actually delete here because there's a lot. So, 
This is all just a new layer. I don't know why these water animations turned blue, but I have a theory that it was when we changed the colour of the floor. We changed its shade of blue that I might have got accidentally grabbed in the process. Um, so just delete all that we don't want, which are these bits. And then we can change it to white. And then we'll have our perfect water animation back. I'm just making sure I don't delete any that I shouldn't be deleting. I think I've already deleted some I shouldn't have. But it's fine, I'll just go over them with um, white at the end. If there's a few, it's no biggie. Uh, we don't need these clusters here. I'm just going to get rid of the ones like this. And if it turns out they were part of it, we can just add, add them manually. Okay, so now let's make them white, but it's not they're not like completely white, they're like a sort of transparent white, aren't they? Almost. So we've got to see if we can get that. Imagine if we couldn't undo the pink. Hmm. Colour overlay. White. Now. If we make it transparent, what will happen? I think that's pretty, is that pretty close to what it was originally? It might be a bit bright, or we'll just lower. Mess about with it. So we do with the blue underneath, that's the thing. I feel like with a bit, just putting an overlay on top and messing about with its colour, we could easily get the right colour back. So we'll see that. I think it's a bit bright at the moment now, but we'll check in tiled. Yeah, it's a, it's a tad bright. And a tad blue as well, still. Might be easier to not mess with the opacity and maybe do this instead. Yeah, just colour pick it. And apparently it's not white, it's green. <laughs> That's the colour. Just a very light, like a very dull light green. Okay, so that's it. That's a hundred percent done, I think. Looks it looks about exactly how it should be. I 
I think there's a couple of blue pixels in there maybe that shouldn't be. A couple of extra ones that maybe shouldn't be. Solve that. Yeah, that's something that'll take a bit of like fussing over to just to sort that out. It's just a small little tidying up thing. There's like literally a few dots there that one too many. So I just put the rest of him in. Now we got the shadows to do. Um, and the ones that sh the ones that shouldn't have a shadow, should I say? Um, I'm confident all the water animation stuff will be out the way by the end of today. I'll have a mess with it after dinner. And um, we're gonna get, I'm going to get more done over the weekend because it's the weekend now, guys. Um, and um, probably be spending next week finalising it all. I, c I could see us getting it done by the end of next week. Um, um, and obviously we got law bible stuff to do in between as well and if I wanted a break from this I could just do that just could do some law bible profiles because that is also something we want to get done I think I'm gonna fix the shadow thing because it's a, it is a bit of a pain. So we've only got two things now, too many pixels in this one and the shadow thing. And there might be other things like what I'll mention, but I look into that one. Uh, yeah, I think we need to solve this bit before we do the shadow stuff though. Okay, I have to zoom in super close for this one. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of just grabbing that colour and just doing, getting rid of that layer and painting over the top, like, and just being precise about it. Because there's way too many extra messy pixels in that other one we've got. I think it's literally just the one, yeah. There's a few light colours in it, but they're just, it's very subtle, the change. And if we put, no, not overlay. That'll do. Also, we're nearly into stream time and we'll have one more trivia before the end, guys, just so you know. I, I always like fight, finishing the stream with one.
yeah this isn't the time consuming way but i really i just wasn't satisfied with how it looked when i, I did it that way Mm -hmm. Hi, Ray. How's the mapping going? It's it's been something. Lots of uh, like issues trying to get the eight because it's the animation stuff, so it's the hardest part. Right now, it's the like water animation, and um, it's not as simple as oh, but the assets are already there because I've been doing quite a bit of editing with them. I put I, the cl the cliff that we use is unique. And I had to like merge that cliff with the water, so it's kind of been a bit of a challenge to pull off. And um, originally on our Parax map, this part wasn't animated, the water by the cliff, so it was just still. So um, we've just gone that extra mile a bit by having this bit be animated. And it, I, I've made mistakes today as well, like I've been changing colour of things and accidentally ruining the rest of the parts and I've had to like make up, you know, fix it. <laughs> been watching me struggle. I might my phone run out of power a bit ago, but when the water sparks were pink it gave an impression of a little flower petals floated down the stream, did it, yeah, well you know some maybe that does it for some but i thought it looked disgusting <laughs> but yeah i'm it's you know okay that was a very bright fuchsia pink for sure <laughs> Like what I'm doing now, this this shouldn't have been a thing. I shouldn't have made accidentally turn this blue, but you have to fix it. Always happens. What's wrong with this corner because there's probably not really anything wrong with it but I feel like I've botched it the water animation part that is so it doesn't look quite right with it to me Because really, I thought these were all extra pixels, but they're not. That's an extra pixel that doesn't need to be there, though. Oops. I 
it's probably easier to do this way and delete the extra pixels and just draw all over them again. So I'm going to do it this way now. Maybe that's fine. I don't know what it is about this bottom one. It just looks like there's too many. Like, to me, there looks like there's too many water lines. And then it, I accidentally put too many in at one point. It's very weird. I'm not happy with it. And I don't know what to do to fix it, in all honesty, because we don't have an old version because I was dumb <laughs> hmm. There's definitely too many there though. There's double. I think what happened was I accidentally put double on there and didn't realise it and then saved it and flattened the image. And I flat I merged the layers because I I'm, I can't stand having like 50 layers because I get confused, especially when I'm streaming too. So I flattened them and then good now I can't fix it. So I'm going to have to do it again. I think that's the only solution. I'm not, I'm not so satisfied with that. Um, so. Let me think. I'm going to open a, re a really old version. So... So this, if only one it was based on. This was the one it was based on. So I'm going to just say the difference. So. So I can, if there is a difference, then I'll know for sure that it's gone wrong. But if there isn't, then I'll know that I'm just being silly. Okay, interesting. Looks like there isn't a difference, really. Like the water animations are all in the same position so yeah okay it seems like everyone's fine it just didn't look right to me is all it just looks like there's two men there and i thought that something went wrong um some are a little bit more transparent though so maybe i just need to make some a, a little bit more stand out a bit less and that might solve the problem I think so all is good. I don't think ever anything it's as bad as we th as I thought. Um my gosh, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm such a beast. I'm always eating. Literally had a sandwich and a yogurt before I went live, like a second before. 
and I'm famished now. It makes me wonder how does streamers stream for more than four hours? I suppose they have a little break, don't know where they eat. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> I have to have proper food. Um, okay. Save us. Okay, so I think it's okay. I think it's, we're okay. Maybe could make a few of those transparent, but we're getting there. Let's just have a look again. Um, and that was me thinking the waterfall would be the hardest part, and it was actually the cliff bits. But we, we fixed the worst of the problems now. Um, and it's just the shadow thing. I need to make a tile set where we don't have a shadow on these ones. Um, and we gotta, gotta do the rest of those and we got some more. We got some more over here to do as well. This is going to look super pretty when it's done now. I'm so excited. And it has been a little bit more blur because of the thingamajigs today, but you know, you you got to do it if you want to if you want to make it look nice, haven't you? You'll get there. That's looking really good now. Yeah, it's an improvement, you know, and I'm, I I mean do you think it's an improvement from the original now with that we've got the uh, fancy trees and flowers and vines on this one? But the cliff itself, if, if you ignore that silly shadow, is it better, do you think? It takes time, but you'll be happy when it's done. Yeah, it's always the process. The process. Sometimes, you know, you can't, you can't do things and it go perfect every time. It's just not life. Yeah, you're going to... These streams, the development of Raindrop Chronicles, we're going to see hiccups along the way as well as moments where everything goes perfectly and in bet all everything in between. Cover the shadow with a vine and it will look fine, yeah. The ways hacks. But th there's no issue with making extra tiles for things like this. Because um, uh, we can have a... Tiles aren't perfect, you know, yet sometimes... They don't connect with each other as example here and there's more areas as well like here and certain bits we can cover with trees like uh, there was another part that, that that i think we actually covered that with it no we didn't cover it with a tree we fixed that one but there was a certain one that we did cover with a tree somewhere else i think but We'll, uh, we'll uh, get those parts fixed, no worries at all. Um, so, save. So, it is a weekend now. So, two more days without Rose, guys, which means I'm at home doing nothing and working on Raindrop Chronicles. So, we're going to have some more, more of this map to show you guys on Monday. And um, I'm, I'm hoping to get at least a few more of the law Bible profiles in as well because um, sometimes it's a nice break to do that if I, if I want to take a break from the mapping. But my focus will be sort of on the mapping this weekend, I'd say. Um, I think the new one is going to be better. It's already much more organic looking. Yeah, and we haven't even got... <laughs> we haven't even got the special stuff in yet. I haven't even got the tr the trees or so imagine when everything is in it's gonna be like it's gonna knock our socks off isn't it but but yeah like um so we're killing two birds we want to die with this task because not only we're we gonna have an improved better looking map of our episode one area of the game but we we are we have a big, big map. We have everything all on one map now, um, rather than split into small sections. So it's going to be more seamless in general. And it's going to kind of give more of an illusion of being open and a real world, um, rather than just a set of images stuck together. So I like that idea. So it's all, we're all like, 
we're not currently adding new content really but we're improving on what we've already done and that's always a necessary thing um, in the step to having an awesome game so guys I'm gonna put trivia um, in before we go today because we got to end it on a high haven't we it's an awesome trivia so One sec, I'm just getting Twitch up because I actually had it crossed off on my Chrome. Okay, trivia guys, exclamation mark trivia. Let's hope it's a brand new question. Oh, I don't think we've had this question before. What is Carol's goal? To find a family. Oh my God, Van, you genius. You're in right there. Because that's that sort of question might have some people scratching their heads. Am I right? Or was that an easy question? Because I, I, I'm curious. Because when you're the creator, you don't know what are the easy or the hard ones. <laughs> um, okay, so. Points. Vandalia won. There you go. My goodness. So we will be carrying on with that leaderboard for next month too, because we're starting a fresh new month. Um, come next stream, August already. Whoa, whoa. For me, easy because I've been listening to you talk about Carol a lot for for over a while now. Yeah, I guess it honestly depends how how much of the law you you've been following so far. If 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 not, if you like being uh, then then it, the, the trivia will probably be more challenging some of the questions but yeah it's my excuse to get you guys learning more about our law <laughs> and mr radio is gonna look at the score and have to catch up <laughs> yeah well you've got four weeks of august to do that i think we got four weeks haven't we next month let's have a look because sometimes it's five weeks yeah, four weeks and a bit. Yeah, four weeks of streams plus a Monday. That's what next month is. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go. We're going to go raid one of our friendos to close the stream. So Lacey is online right now. She's playing a game called Fall Guys, which... Oh, were we getting a loud ad? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if we had an ad noise coming then. I just realised I had the Twitch ad on and the speaker was loud. <laughs> well, there we go. Thanks for the stream. Yeah. Okay. So, Lacey's on and she's playing Fall Guys, which apparently is super fun. So, I've heard, but I don't know much about it. Um, so, there we go. I'll see you all on Monday, guys, and be excited to get ready to have your socks knocked off because this map is going to start looking full come Monday. And it's going to be lots of fun to see it all involved. Take care, everybody. Thanks for being awesome and helping me out with any of all these water glitches we had today. It was cliffs on Wednesday and it was water today. What's it going to be on Monday? Hmm. We'll say. Take care, guys. Have a great weekend.